Well, hi there. This is Scott Duffy from softwarearchitect.ca. In this video, I'm going to be talking about my experience with the AZ-303 Azure Architects Technologies beta exam. Now, within the last week, I was able to sit the AZ-303 beta, and I decided to record this video to talk about the experience. Now, don't get your hopes up. I am not going to be able to tell you specific questions that I saw. I'm not going to say what topics were on the exam and what topics were not on the exam. I'm not going to tell you whether there were labs or whether there were case studies or anything like that. I am honoring the NDA here, so you're not going to get details about the specific test. Overall, my experience was good. From the exam software, the, the, uh, exam itself, the contents of the exam. From start to finish, pretty much, I had a very positive experience. Didn't really have too many objectionable moments, and it was pretty pretty easy. I logged into the environment a few minutes early and uh, waited, maybe I waited five or 10 minutes for the proctor to show up. But once the proctor showed up, the exam started and they didn't even talk to me. It wasn't even a hello or let me see something. No, it was just right to, 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 uh, to get started. And so overall, very positive experience. I couldn't even tell you my proctor's name uh, for the first AZ-03 exam. Now, I did book this exam with a coupon code. So one of the benefits of the beta is that you can sometimes get it cheaper. Uh, I don't think you can anymore because those coupons went by very quickly. But I was able to snag a coupon and I did book it for $33, which is uh, less than the $165 normal price. This was the second time that I've used that Pearson view from a home experience. And so, like I said, pretty good experience for the second time. Um, no, no complaints in that regard. Now, I did have three hours to take this. I believe it was 180 minutes. Um, I, needless to say, I did not take all three hours. I was able to get through the questions pretty much in about 60 minutes, almost exactly 60 minutes. It was like 61 minutes to the point where I was uh, reviewing the questions. And so, um, you know, you're not going to run out of time on a beta exam. I don't even think you would run out of time on the real exam. So if you know your stuff, you can go through it. Um, if you don't know your stuff, I don't know if there's any point in spending another 60 minutes reviewing things you don't know. So um, all in all, I think time is not an issue. I did go back and review the, the uh, questions. I, st I think I, I reviewed them all. Uh, I don't often do that, but I did review them all and I flew through them in about 15 minutes. I mean, either you know it or you don't, right? Overall, my experience was that AZ-303 seemed easier than AZ-300 to me. Um, it's been a while since I took AZ-300, more than a year. And if I recall, there was actually, I can say AZ-300 and AZ-103. I think it was AZ-100 at the time. There were even some questions that were duplicate to me. So I sat down and took the 100 exam and the 300 exam back to back. And the same question appeared on both exams. And so to me, that was a sign of there being a lot of overlap with 100. Uh, in this experience, the exam did not contain a lot of what I would consider administration uh, questions. There was no PowerShell or CLI. Um, you know, even though the requirements of the exam say implement, 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 the experience of the exam was less of an administration type exam. So if you are on that fence where you're like, should I take 300 or should I wait until 303 comes live? Um, you know, I think there is some benefit to waiting, although I'm not in general, I'm not a big fan of waiting. Get, if you've got something you want to get done, you do it now. But um, 303 was a good, fair test. It was not easy. I can still say it's difficult, but it's easier than it used to be. Um, there is not a lot of questions that we considered basic questions. Like they would not ask you the question of um, which virtual machine instance family is the best one for a database server. Like that's not a question. That's a bit too basic. 
these questions were on you know on all the topics of the requirements but these are these are like advanced uh, topics so remember this is an expert certification so expect it it's not a uh, trivial question now I will say that there were a couple of questions that I wasn't I mean I left the feedback on the exam I'm not going to call them trick questions but they are tricky and that's kind of like a little bit on the border of trick question I'll give you an example this is completely fictional this is not a question from the test but um, this is an example of something that I experienced so let's say you have a virtual machine and you have a SQL database and you have an application on that virtual machine that needs to access some data in the SQL database what is required to accomplish this choose two um, so you look at the answers and you're like virtual network well that's required you can't have a virtual machine without a virtual network so it is absolutely a virtual network is required in this scenario uh, rule added to SQL database well yes you need to open up the, the database in some way to allow traffic through the name of the database and the name of the table well yes you can't access the data without the name of the table that I mean you can't you can't access the data without knowing the name of the table and finally uh, access right user ID and password so in a way all four of them are kind of correct um, I happen to have known at the time that I took that that type of question that they, what they were specifically asking so you kind of have to work out backwards and say well um, you can access the SQL database without having a, a firewall opened up because it's denied by default and you need credentials so those are no matter what you need you need those two things um, so those were the kind of I suppose the correct answers now I'm gonna have to wait to see that the uh, results of this exam but I wasn't a huge fan of that type of question um, you know it is kind of like there are a couple of answers that that could be correct but two of them that are more definitively correct so um, yeah something to keep an eye out for now in terms of this uh, you might be tempted to go and book the beta uh, I don't advise people to take the beta unless you are a fan of betas and you're prepared to wait two months for the results I'm not expecting the results of my test until September and it's currently July so don't take a beta unless you're prepared to wait um, I am going to be updating my course so if you are a student on Udemy my AZ 300 course I'm actually going to re-record it from scratch all new videos uh, that's being appended to the end of the course so if you go into the AZ 300 course at the end you'll see new sections being added that is being that's in progress right now that is being uploaded as things are being done realistically this is going to take several weeks and so uh, I would not expect the 303 course to be ready until the end of August but that's okay because I think the the exam itself doesn't go live until September so um, that is uh, that'll be in time for that but that is that's what's happening if you're a Udemy student now if you're not a Udemy student come on board uh, check out the link I'm going to post the link in the description of this video and you can purchase the AZ 300 course go through that right now and if you want to take the AZ 300 test yeah go ahead and do that otherwise if you want to wait to the AZ 303 that will be added over time and you can keep it um, keep an eye out for the educational announcements announcing when new content is added anyways the video is long enough thanks a lot this has been my experience about AZ 303 if you would be so kind to like the video or subscribe to the channel that would be very helpful get more videos like this you can leave a comment about your experience with AZ 300 or AZ 303 keep in mind uh, we can't can't condone dumps and we're not going to talk about specific questions that did or did not appear on the test appreciate that anyways thanks a lot guys and see you in the next video